Yeah, it's Pop and Peeps. Tough Ocean 787 here today with a uh, Poke Abilities video. But this time, it's going to be me actually laddering. And uh, I'm going to be laddering with different sets. Did not mean to do what I just did. But uh, I'm going to be using my Untitled 52 and scroll back to before those monotypes. Let's see, it was the first team before the monotype. Okay, yeah, I'll use this team as well because it has the Hex Dragapult too. The main use for Hex Dragapult is... Yeah. What? I'm recording a video. Yes, I would prefer it off. Okay. The reason why I have Hex on this Dragapult instead of Thunderbolt or Flamethrower is because at Timid, it okos no HP, no Spad no Spadef Investment Conkelder. With uh, Modest, it will oko uh, 200 HP, uh, 56 Spadef Conkelder. Which is a set that makes it reach over 400 defense. I mean, HP. So it can survive four seismic tosses. Then I also have Glare and Weezing in case Dragapult goes down. The reason why Hex is the move on Dragapult to deal with it is because, well, it burns itself with Flame or Toxic Orb, preferably Toxic Orb most of the time. But then I also have a little stall team here which I'm going to start off with because I know that it's less fun, so why not just entertain at the end? Like, you go out with your best joke. Like my life. Even though that's a pretty bad joke. So let me just pause it until I get someone. Okay, finally we have Battle here, and he is obviously going to lead with the uh, uh, Alolan Ninetales. So it might just be a good idea for me to, to immediately set up Stealth Rock, but it could also be a good idea for me to lead Corviknight just to get the Aurora Veil out of the way first. Okay, he started with Bronzong. He's probably going to set up his own rocks, but I can just... Oh, wait, I can't go into Clefable. Ooh. So I could get the Burn Off with Jellicent, most likely. Just throw it a will -o wisp on whatever. If he goes into Alola Marowak, I have, I'll probably have to sack the Jellicent and then have Quagsire come in and Toxic. Then probably be forced to go into Dragapult afterwards, but all that, you know. Just got to keep up the pressure. If I get up hazards with Clef, though, it's going to be pretty rough. Or at least for him, I mean, because, uh, yeah, his screen setter is not going to be good. Or not going to be alive, I should say, very long. Okay. Young Calc. Yeah, while I'm waiting for him to make a move, I'll... Oh, never mind, okay. Okay, he's probably going to hit me for a lot, so I'm just going to use Recycle. If he brings me down to 50 HP in a... Oh, shit. Okay. I can try to scare him out. Because Quagsire has Unaware. Okay, it did not work. Now, let's see. They normally run full speed, though. 
so. Oh wow, this one doesn't. Okay, looks like I can just stall him out. Ooh, but do I want to risk the crit? Or... I think it would just be better to let Quagsire die, switch into Dragapult, get a clear hex off. Because Dragapult deals with three different members of his team. And Melodic, like, it's worse against Melodic, but still. Or. Uh, I don't really use attacking moves too much with this team, other than Hex and maybe Snorlax's Body Slam. But, uh. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't do too terribly against Melodic because Hex helps. Toxic can help whittle it down if none of the Pokemon have uh, healing or heal bell or aromatherapy, which I don't think any of those Pokemon can learn. Okay, he I'm gonna Toxic. Because if he freeze dries, well, I don't really have any th other better Pokemon. Okay, I hit the Toxic through the Aurora Veil. That will at least ensure that Ninetales will not be able or will be on a timer. Okay. And now he dies. I switch in Dragapult. Which literally deals with three members of his team. He may switch out. I'm just going to U-turn anyway. Like, go into Clefable. Try to get a Thunder Wave. Okay. Got off the th getting off the thunder wave. Okay, this is really helpful. If only I had another toxic Pokemon for the melodic. But I may just be able to break through that with enough force if I try. Okay, he'll keep on being slower, and he may just keep on having to recover. If he loses 30% every turn, he'll be at 36 HP, which puts him in the range of a crit. He may not be playing around the crit, but if he is, then that's definitely good for me. Or he could just keep trying to make his stored power stronger. And now he has to switch out, or he has to sack it. Okay, he chose to sack it. Okay, he forfeited. Let's go. First, this is my second attempt recording, and the first game that I've won, even if it's in a fashion that I don't really like to win games in. But while I'm waiting for another battle, I'm just going to run you through my sets. I have the Corviknight set that I normally run. Shed Shell because Magnus... Okay, never mind. I was going to say Shed Shell because Magnazone is a massive threat in this metagame. I wish I had my knockoff clef right now. I really needed more status spreaders, but at the same time, I just couldn't risk anything. On the bright side, Thunder Wave hits everything. And if Porygon 2 gets Thunder Wave, yes, like that. Okay, just set up rocks here. Poison Jab, yeah. Oh, wait. Am I willing to risk knockoff? I can't Thunder Wave everything anymore. And, oh wait, technically I can, but I don't want to, really. Fuck, he does have Knock Off, really? Fuck. Are you fucking kidding me? Why did I make that bet? Okay, so its last moves are probably going to be Drain Punch and Mock Punch. Because those are the two standards. So it's just going to kill me here. Okay, without Dragapult, I don't think I could have won. 
so I'm going to keep trying, but I probably won't win. Anyway, let me just walk you through my sets. I have a normal defensive uh, Corviknight set with, of course, the Impish Nature, 248 HP, just so, well, yeah, max amount of HP it can have. That is an odd number, just in case even number dividers like Stealth Rock, things like that, because they round down after Generation 4. And, uh, yeah, physically defensive, of course, had the last EVs and special defense just because. So, a huge wall. Clefable is an all-around wall. Do it. Rocks are really useful in certain matches. I don't want to get rid of Moonblast. I think I'm going to try to get rid of Jellicent, like... I need a reliable Pokemon that gets good abilities and can learn knockoff. Okay. Uh. Yeah, if I'm running stall, especially Toxpex will probably be the best. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. Okay. Toxic Spikes. Recover. Knock off. And... Then a Shocker Scald. And I'm not going to be using... Uh... Then a Shock on it much anyway. Because its main purpose is just to knock off items. Let's see, how much do I need to get? 300... Or 301, because that's what I want. 240, okay. So I can invest the rest into, phys into HP. Give it a calm nature. Now it's tanking special hits. But, yeah. Okay. Fizz Def, Corviknight. Have the Mixed Def, Clefable. So, basically, Mixed Def is full HP because Magic Guard. Split defenses. I just like using this so it can be a tank on both sides. And, uh, yeah. As you see, pretty good HP. Fairly okay in defense and special defense. But, unaware plus magic guard is one of the best ability combinations in the game. So, yeah, Clefable's easily top tier in this metagame. I have my Quagsire. Physically defensive. Seismic Toss could be replaced with Earthquake or Scald. But I want Quagsire to be able to do some damage. And with no attack investment, it couldn't really do anything with Earthquake. With no special attack investment, it couldn't do anything with Scald. I have Hexa Dragapult specifically at 2 and just be able to help with... Mm. You know what? I'm going to copy this set. Then I'm going to see what else has Hex. Hex, Will-O-Wisp, and Thunder Wave more specifically. Okay. Ooh. I'm... Yeah, none of these Pokemon are really that great. So I think I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm just going to put the Dragapult back in. Like, Okay. You know what? Like... I know I'm not getting the speed that I need to outspeed a lot, but at the same time, still 320 base speed. I think I can sacrifice some in the defenses just to get above the base 100. So let's see. Uh, 124, 120, 116. Okay. Need to try that. 
Okay. 100. Just going down to solid 100s. Okay, I know that this is a weird speed tier, weird defense split, but I'm trying, okay? I'm just trying different things, see what works, what doesn't. I'm pretty exhausted right now, I don't really know why, so don't try to ask me because I have no clue myself. But, yeah. Okay, so I have multiple status spreaders. You know what? Just, oh wait, yeah, Quagsire already has Toxic, so I don't need to put Hex on it. Like, but Quagsire is not going to be that good if it has Earthquake for a few different Pokemon. Like Galarian Weezing, it can do nothing against uh, Corviknight. It can do nothing against any Pokemon with Levitate that is a Poison or Steel type. It cannot do anything against if it's only attacking with this Earthquake. Scald, there's a ton of Water Absorb Pokemon, including uh, Arctiz I mean Arctivish, uh, Jellicent, other Quagsires running around. Like it's. There's a few Storm Drain Pokemon that are viable, like Gastrodon is often used on Sand Teams, it just, I just prefer Seismic Toss for just more consistent damage, because most Ghost types you can poison, Gengar's not too common in this meta, and even if you do see it, you have the defensive Dragapult, And if you're able to get a Thunder Wave off on it with Clefable, if scouting it out and it doesn't have a poison move for some reason, which, yeah, probably wouldn't be the best option. I definitely would not suggest that. But, like, I guess you can try to... Uh, you can try to knock it off with Pex and burn it or something. Because even if it has Thunderbolts, I think it'll only be doing, like, 40% to Pex. So you can knock off, switch out... When you come back in, just spam recover, I guess. And, uh, but Gengar is not that common, like I said. Then, after Quagsire, you have Recycle Snorlax. Because, uh, the berries are really good with Snorlax if you know how to use them. The main problems are Corviknight and Galvantula. Galvantula is being seen less and less, even though it is a great uh, sticky webber the only one that really takes full advantage of this meta like a rack when it's okay galvantula is actually good but uh yeah galvantula is just or sorry galvantula and corviknight are going to make it really difficult for snorlax to be able to use its gluttony ability because snorlax has uh uh because uh, they have Unnerve, and Snorlax m mostly uses the berry to its advantage. Of course, Toxapex, I just made the set full Spadef, because, yeah, I need better Spadef and a way to still spread status. I don't care about the crits, to be honest. I already showed you the Dragapult. Okay, now, here comes my offensive team, Specs, Dragapult, Modest Nature, U-Turn, Shadow Ball, Draco, Meteor, Hex, it's a huge nuke, helps deal with Guts Pokemon, just, I absolutely love it, Galarian Weezing for some support, uh, Strange Steam, Toxic Spikes, Clear Smog, and Memento, Memento to just get a quick nerf, well, to make sure something has to switch out or is weakened. Uh, toxic Spikes, of course, just hazards are really helpful in general. And being able to help Dragapult. Clear Smog, getting rid of statues can be extremely helpful. Uh, Strange Steam, just overall fairy type move. Halucha, taking advantage of Galarian Weezing's uh, Misty Surge. Because for some reason, Neutralizing Gas doesn't cancel out its own abilities. 
uh, running out of it because you don't need Jolly to outspeed most things after Unburden. And I think I'm going to replace Substitute with Stone Edge. Okay, yeah. So, Close Combat, Sword Stance, Acrobatics, and Stone Edge. I prefer running Draining Punch just so I have some form of recovery, but people bitch to me about it, so... Yeah, I changed it just because they wanted me to. Suicide Lead, Agron. With uh, Lonely Nature, No Defense... EVs or IVs and it still has a defense stat of a fully invested beneficial nature 252 EV 31 IV one base 100 defense Pokemon for somehow but yeah no IVs or EVs and special defense, defense, and HP, just to make it as weak as possible so that Custat Berry can activate. And I can get free rocks or free endeavor, something like that. But anyway, looks like Torkoal's probably the only Pokemon of his that gets rid of anything. Okay, he may have Scorching Sands, but it won't harm me. Knock off the heat rock. Oh, wait. He has Venusaur. Okay, why did I switch into that? Well, time to go into Lax. If I can paralyze this, that would be great. Okay, shut out speed. Oh wait, but I don't have full speed anymore. I sacrifice it to have the best special attack possible. But I may scare him out. Oh, I am faster. Okay. So Snorlax was really helpful just for that. Ooh. Now Toxapex can really be helpful. Oh, wait. What? Even if he switches into Exeggutor, I just get up one Toxic Spike. And I'm fine. I don't even have to knock off his citrus berry. I'll be fine. Just toxic spike. Okay. Hmm, I have clef. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breathing. Don't give a damn if I cut my own breathing. No, 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 no. This is my last resort. No, 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 no. This is my last resort. Cut my life into pieces. Urge me on the suffocation, no breathing. I don't really know the lyrics to. Last Resort by Papa Roach. I'm just singing whatever I can because I I don't know, honestly. I'm gonna heal here. Okay. Well. Probably gonna try to switch into... Oh, Whimsicott. Okay, go ahead and use Taunt, whatever you need to do. Okay. I I can still set up with Pex now that his next defogger is gone, like it's perfectly fine with me. I'll probably just sack Quagsire or something.
Okay. Either take this or switch into Tangrowth. Or Torkoal. Okay. Well. Toxic Spike first. Just gonna lay down one spike or one T spike. Yo, Hex is amazing. Okay, just gonna U turn here because it's going to be, let's see, uh, 120 times 2 because the 1 times super effective is going to be 240 times 1.5, which will be 360. Versus 70 times 2, which would be 140 times a 2, which would be 280. Brave Bird will be more effective, actually. And yes, I just did math that quick. Like, hmm. It's not really too big a deal for me. I just am able to do it that fast most of the time. Just keep on doing what you need to. Right. And if I am able to get my drag pulls in on this, even if it even if sun is up, then that's going to be pretty easy for my drag pulls to win in that situation. Because ha ha Dragapult has Infiltrator. Like, I'm perfectly fine with sacrificing my Corviknight here. Nice, let's go! Okay, just send in your Torkoal. Let's get this over with. Hex, Hex. Honestly, guys, like, I'm sorry. I know I said I was going to use both teams. I think I'm just going to use this team. And I'm just, I think this will be my last game. But I'm definitely glad that I was able to do this. So just Hex. And Hex. Because Dragapult is the main Pokemon that I wanted to use on this team. Yes. Like, Dragapult works on stall teams as, like, a substitute, a substitute staller with Protect and Phantom Force to get a lot of leftovers recovery, but I like using it as a status spreader just because it's fun, like... And if you want to use it on offense, it goes through substitutes, it can't get its speed lowered by Sticky Web, it's definitely one of the better offensive Pokemon and Poke abilities. But Cursed Body, just being able to, having a close to one third chance off by 3% to disable a move that you're hit with, being able to hit status moves and attack moves, there are things like Sub... Uh, safeguard, Mist, Aurora Veil, and Screen, or not just Aurora Veil, but the other screens as well. Like, even you can even U turn through, uh, oh wait, you can normally U turn through a Substitute. But I will put, I will upload this team to Poke Paste real quick. Okay. Here it is, just. I'm going to open this in Chrome real quick. Do I have a clipboard? Okay, turn on the clipboard. Pen. Okay. Now, gonna go to my 
offensive team. If you guys want me to do more uh, pokey pastes in my videos, then just feel free to ask me. I'll gladly do so. Like, there's a lot of videos that I want to make. Like, I want to make a video on Corsal and Mawile, possible lower tiers and poke abilities. Like, it would, it would be fun. I really want to. So if you want me to, feel free to ask. I think I may just do some either way. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Oh, wait. Let me just... Clipboard. Pen. Okay. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I'll post those two teams' links, or their poke pastes in the description or the comments, one of the two. This has been Teflusion 787 and I'm at a house. Bye!